Hello guys, welcome to our third tutorial in our DaVinci Resolve series. This time we'll see how to crop and transform using the tools in the inspector. It's still a very basic beginner tutorial, we're just getting used to the tools in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. The tutorial will be split into sections. At first, we will crop and transform pictures, and later, we'll crop and transform videos. These two are very similar process. Let's open up Resolve. Double click, and it's opening up the software. DaVinci Resolve 14, and now let's create a new project. Click on new project, and let's call this project Tutorial 3, and create. Now let's import some pictures and some videos. Now we are at the Edit tab. From the Edit tab to the Media tab, click there, and then we just go to File, Import Media, and then select your files. This PC, let's pick some pictures. Pictures, let's use this one, press and hold Control, let's select this other, press Control, click, and this one. And now open. We have three elements, three pictures on the media pool. This picture, this picture, and this one. Now let's start to edit. Let's go from the media tab we are right now to the edit tab. Click there. Let's start by cropping some pictures. Well, let's bring a picture like this one. Click there and drag it to the timeline. This way. Now the picture is represented, indicated by this rectangle. Position the marker over it to see, to watch it at the preview window. Now, let's time to crop. There are actually two ways to make this kind of adjustments here in DaVinci Resolve. One, manually. You just click on this drop down arrow and you see this kind of controls. Transform, crop, dynamic zoom. If you want to crop this picture, obviously, you just click on crop and select the picture, the clip, clicking on it. Now you can crop the picture. How? Just by dragging its corners, its borders, this way. If you want to crop to see only one area of the picture, you just need to drag this way. See? You can crop from one corner this way. This is cropping a picture. You can do it manually, dragging here in the preview window. Remember, just select crop and click on the picture. This is one way. There's actually another. Using the inspector. You go here and click on inspector click here and now this panel appear it has many tools composite transform cropping dynamic zoom and others and if you see here in this drop down arrow you also have transform crop dynamic zoom and here you see transform cropping and dynamic zoom the same adjustments well, now we're working with cropping. You can also crop using the specter. Let's go down a little. And let's crop left. You click and drag. You see? Crop right. Crop top. Crop bottom. You can do many cropping. And later, if you want to, you can apply some softness to the cropping by dragging this control. This way, you see? It's actually very easy. You can drag this control or just type the number. If you click here and type 0, press enter, there's no softness. If you crop the top and want to come back to full screen, you just need to click here, type 0 and press enter. And also with the others. Click, 0, enter, click, 0, enter, click 0 and press enter. So you can crop manually here in the preview window and also using the inspector. This is a very basic beginner tutorial. We're just getting used to the tools here in the Vinci Resolve. We've been just cropping this picture. Now let's see how to transform. Let's bring another picture. Could be this one. Click on this and drag it to the timeline. Let's place it beside the other picture, this way. Position the marker over it to watch at the preview window. If you click at the clip, you can see the inspector controls. You can deactivate the inspector and the trimmer window appears. If you activate the inspector, the trimmer disappears and now we have the controls. Well, you can transform an image. You first select it, go to the this drop down arrow and select transform. Click there, and these widgets appear to manually transform this picture dragging here in the preview window. But you can also access those effects here in the inspector. Let's look for transform controls. So these are transform controls, these widgets, 
and these also are transfer controls. Let's transform this manually. You can adjust its size this way. Look, this isn't cropping, you're just adjusting the size of the picture, clicking and dragging. Not getting rid of any area of the picture. You can rotate the picture this way. See, if you rotate the picture this way, manually here in the preview window, the rotation angle here in the spectre also moves. Look at this. See? This value changes if I rotate. If I want to get back to normal, I just click here, type 0, press enter, and now it's a straight. You can also adjust the rotation by clicking and dragging on this tool this way. And there are many other ways to transform. You can make this image wider by clicking and dragging this way. Now she looks fat. Let's adjust its size. Now it's too thin. No problem. I still can just click here, type 1, press enter. Click here, type 1, press enter. And comes back to normal. At the normal zoom, the normal size is 1 and 1. 1 on the x axis and 1 on the y axis. But if you want to close over her face, you click and drag. You can also click in drag and position and it's actually very very easy to transform an image. And if you want to come back to normal, always click, press 1, enter, here, press 1, enter. And the position, look, you can change the position as you want. And here obviously, it should be, click, 0, press enter, 0, this way, press enter. You can adjust the size, you can adjust the pitch, look at this. It's amazing. You will see in later tutorials how we will create amazing visual effects applying keyframes to these controls. But you can adjust the pitch. Joe, look at this. As you need. Come back to normal. Click 0 presenter. Click 0 presenter. Comes back to normal. And finally, another transform adjustment is the flipping horizontally. You see? Click vertically. This is how you can crop and transform some pictures. And now let's use the same effects on videos. As I said before, there are several ways to import footage to your project. So far we just had gone to the media tab, then file and import media. But being here in the media tab where you edit, there is also possible to import footage to your project. For example, you could open a folder like your video folder, adjust its position, select any picture you like, like this one, click and drag it to the media tab. If you drop there, now you have available another video, you see, it's a video. You hover your cursor and you can see the video. Let's close this window. So remember, you can add footage to your project just by opening a folder and drag it to this area here in the edit tab. Let's disable the inspector so we can use the trimmer. Let's click at this clip and drag it to the trimmer. Now let's select an area of this video. We saw that in our second tutorial, our previous tutorial. Let's preview this. In Italy, it's in this beautiful charcoal grey and I'm obsessed with grey right now. Okay. Like either red or grey. Stop this. This could be the marking point. Let's play a little. So just oh, imagine opening this on Christmas Day. Now you may spot that this is very much a Hermes look. Stop line. this and mark out point. Now let's drag it to the timeline. This way. Just a few seconds. Position the micro read to watch it and let's preview it, ladies. So just oh, imagine opening this on Christmas Day. Enough. Now let's apply some cropping and transforming to this video, to this clip. Let's enable the inspector. As I click on the inspector, the trimmer will disappear. Click on the inspector. Now we have the inspector controls to adjust, to transform, to crop this video. And let's start by cropping. These controls now, you can switch to cropping and manually crop the video. If you don't want to see the tree, you can see only the girl. If you position the marker and play this video, so just oh, imagine opening it. you can select what area of the video you will see. You can come back and hide the purse. And as you can be talking, position the marker and play this. Just oh, imagine opening this on Christmas Day. Now, you Very well. You can crop manually, clicking on the clip of the video and selecting cropping. You can also crop here using the inspector. You go to the cropping area, 
These are the cropping controls. You could add softness to the video. This way, you see? Very interesting. Look at this. Let's come back to normal. Click, press zero, press enter. Let's crop left. And play the video. You may spot that this is very much... Very good now. This is very basic. In later videos, we will use these features to create interesting effects. You can crop just by clicking and dragging here. Crop left. Crop right. Crop top. Like this. You can also transform any video. First, select the video. Don't forget that. And you could use the manual transform controls just by clicking on this dot down arrow and clicking transform. These widgets are different. They let you to rotate the video, to increase its size, and you can also play this. Position the marker and play it again. So just oh, imagine opening this. If you don't want to watch the widget, just deactivate it by clicking here. And now play the video. Now, you may spot that. You see? Let's activate the widgets. Deactivate it. You can also transform using the inspector. Let's go to the transform controls. These are the transform. You can zoom the video. You can click and type. Or you can also click and drag. And look how easy this becomes. Let's zoom in a little. Drag into the right. Let's adjust the Y position. Clicking and dragging. I will like here at the center. Like this. And let's play this video. Position the marker and play this. So just oh, imagine opening this. Business. Isn't this amazing? Rotation angle. Let's come back to normal. Remember how it's normal? As soon you click in one press enter. One press enter. In the position Y axis. Zero press enter. And rotation angle also zero. Press enter. The original appearance of the video. Let's talk about rotation. Look how this video rotates. The anchor point is at the center. You can change that by changing its anchor point. Let's enable the transfer control this way. So you can see the widget. It's easier to watch it this. This way, you see? The anchor point is the center of the video. You can change that. Click on X, for example. Drag it. Now it will rotate from this point. You click and drag, see? Very interesting. You can apply motion to this. That would be later. You can adjust the pitch, the jaw, flip the video, and let's play this. Now, you may spot that this is... Come back to normal. Flip vertically. I'm gonna play this. Let's flip it again. And these are the more basic controls. We have just transformed the video by changing these values. We have cropped the video, adjusting these tools. And we can also do this kind of effects, clicking and dragging directly on the preview window, as long as we have enabled these controls. In our next tutorial, we will see a new feature, this one, the dynamic zoom. So, this has been the third tutorial in our DaVinci Resolve series. If you're watching it from YouTube, remember, always in the video description, you will find a link to our full DaVinci Resolve playlist. If you click on that link, YouTube will take you to the complete list of tutorials we are creating for DaVinci Resolve. See you in our next tutorial.